Welcome to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and I've got a property in northern Nevada I'd like to show you. This is a map of the property that's got up for sale right now. It's on RuralVacantLand.com under the Map Search tab. Um, anybody can go there and look at the properties we've got up for sale. And so I'm zooming into northeast Nevada. Here's West Wendover. This is Interstate 80. This goes east and west across the country. Salt Lake City is over here to the east and Reno, Nevada is to the west. And there's a grouping of properties here for sale. There's a major mountain range. Maybe if I switch over to satellite, you can see this mountain range it runs along here. This is like the salt flats over here, but on this side of the mountains, it's a lot greener. There's a lot of antelope running around and wild mustangs, um, elk frequent the area, especially in the uh, up in the mountains more, and deer. Um, so here's the uh, here's Interstate 80 and Pilot Road. Um, I think I got a turn picture of the turnoff here. Is Pilot Peak exit 398. There's Pilot Peak from one angle. Um, coming off the 80 and going up here. Here's, here's the peak over here. So you take that Montello Road, that Pilot Peak Road, and it goes towards the little town of Montello. And so this property here is the one I wanted to talk about. Um, it's a 10-acre property. And um, let's zoom in and take a closer look. Let's click on it and read about it. Is I'm asking two thousand one ninety nine. Not nobody's bought it yet, so I figure I'm gonna lower the price. I was thinking eighteen ninety nine, um, so I'm gonna lower the price to one thousand eight hundred ninety nine dollars for this one. And uh, yeah, it's right by this big mountain range, so you can look up at the mountains. Nice mountain views. Um, it's ten acres. The taxes. I just looked up the taxes on it. The taxes in twenty seventeen were twenty one oh seven. Actually, I pulled up. I left it open. So here's the taxes with the county. The taxes are paid. It's in my company's name. Um, 2017 taxes, 2107 have already been paid. No taxes owing. So when you buy this thing, um, you know, the taxes are paid up. I'll do the recording. A lot of people ask me about the deed type in Nevada. The deed type says grant bargain sale deed. Um, Nevada, that's, Nevada's the only state that uses those that I know of. And um, that's just the Nevada, that's the deed they use in Nevada. It's a lot like a grant deed in California. Um, I don't know how to explain it. You can Google grant bargain sale deed and read all about it. It's the most common deed used in Cal in uh, Nevada. Um, there's GPS coordinates here. Uh, we'll click on that. We can bring up a map of the thing. And so here's Montello. Montello's got a bar and a grocery store, like a not a full-on grocery store more of like a convenience store and um, there's a little motel there and uh, it might be two bars actually uh, there's a cemetery <laughs> I've heard people camping in the cemetery I hear they have a hose hookup you can use for a day or two if you pull your motor home in there um, we have post office and uh, the lady at the gas station um, convenience stores, a notary, and uh, you know, just a small town. There's a s elementary school there. It's got pretty good ratings. I mean, it's not very many kids in the school, but it's got got really good ratings. So there's a school not that far away. I think a lot of people in this countryside do homeschooling because the distances are so far to anything. And so let's zoom in on this property. Here's Pilot Road over here. And the property is over here. So if we zoom out a little bit, you see the peak. The actual peak is to the south, but you see this whole mountain range over here to the east. Let's do some satellite imagery. So you keep zooming in, the marker should show up right here. Here it is. So there's a ranch just to the north of this one. I was looking at it on the map, so it looked like he's got a 40 acre property. And it looks like he's got a well there too. I mean, he must have a well because there's like a pond going on in his property. So neighbor's got a pond, and um, you know, maybe it's a natural spring. I don't know. Looks like some livestock. Um, things, corrals, and then ten acres below that. 
So 10 acres is 660 feet by 660 feet. This GPS coordinate should be in the middle. It looks like there's a two track on the east side of the property to run off of. That's probably surveyed out kind of two track. I'm guessing it might not be that exact. But if you, take, if you follow that two track south, there's some cow trails and stuff crossing it. But if you keep going south, you get to a little bit bigger two track here. I mean, you might want to drag this thing. You might want to, if you had a blade on your tractor or even a blade on your pickup truck or something, just start knocking down the high spots, filling in the low spots, turn that into more of a driveway. You just make it your own, be your own place. And you take this two track out to Pilot Road, gets a little more used. You'll probably be seeing antelope bounding across this trail the whole ride through there. They're nice white butts bouncing instead of walking. Um, out to Pilot Road. And I think I don't think Pilot Road has uh, street view. Pretty sure it doesn't have street view. I've, I think I've checked in Microsoft data and they don't have it either. So, Pilot Road, and this would be looking out. This would be your your turn off. I mean, you could do you could play with the maps and just you, know, you click on that and you get get GPS coordinates of that uh, that spot, right? And then you can go find that. And there's your turn off. Um, so here's Parcel Fact. This is a different software. Look, find locations. Put the APN number in there, and it gives you a box. So here's a box of the. Uh, Here's the property, it's a 10 acre property. Looks like the neighbor's got a driveway that goes up through the middle of his property and then joins on some other trails. But I, I would be, I wouldn't want to share with them. Just, just maybe that's just who I am. I'd be wanting to fix up this trail and go out on my own. And then, uh, yeah, there's Pilot Road. And we should go see how far this is to Montello. So to the little town with the post office and stuff, um, that's a kind of ridiculous route they just took. It says 10 miles. Um, yeah, maybe you do turn like that. I don't know why you can't take one of these roads over. Whatever. Going with Google's directions, it's uh, 10 miles, 18 minutes to town. Um, if you want to get lumber, uh, you're going to Wendover. If I can spell it, see how far that is. It's probably 50 minutes or something. It's almost an hour, 51 minutes, 37 miles. It's a different time zone. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, they've got a lumber hardware store there, so you could make runs down there. And get supplies if you're building something. Um, if you want supplies like Home Depot, um, gonna go over to Elko. So you go down, probably go down to uh, down to the 80 and shoot over to Elko. How far is that? Hour and a half, hour 37 minutes, 103 miles. Um, you can go get supplies at Home Depot. There's a Walmart over there. There's a college. There's major grocery stores. All kinds of supplies at yeah, hour and a half away. And so you can build out here. Just about nobody's going to ever say anything or question whatever you're doing. Um, it's, it's the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you can get away with whatever you want. Um, so here's a map of the lot lines. Here's the taxes I was pulling up. Here's a picture from the highway of the mountain range there. So that's Pilot Peak, and the property would be up here more looking back at Pilot Peak from a different angle. This is looking from the south, looking north from, from Interstate 80. And um, that was the turnoff road, and there's just a whole bunch of pictures in the area. So if you want to buy this thing, just go to the link below. I'm going to change the price to $18.99 and get 10 acres for $18.99. That's like $190 an acre. That's pretty cheap. I'll uh, update the price and post the video. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com.